What's going on guys? Welcome back to Upper Left RC. Today we're unboxing the Panda Hobby. Everyone's been telling me to get one and check it out. It is a crawler. I believe it's 1 18th scale or 1 16th scale so we can compare it to the Katanas. Let's bust it open. All right, so cut that. I got the Jeep. I know they have a couple different models, but I think the Jeep's a pretty popular one. So let's see what we got. Inside the box, Ooh, it does come set up kind of nice. Good packaging material. What's this? Hey! We got a Panda Hobbies uh, vinyl flag thing with some ringlets. It's pretty cool. We'll have to hang that up in the room. And what else we got? A truck. Let's, open, let's bust this box out. We got a spare tire that fell out with a little Allen key and screw. Maybe that mounts on the back of it. We've got a controller here. All right, guys. So I either corrupted or lost the footage of me unboxing this thing. But here it is. You got the motor, ESC, and receiver combo all in one. Uh, it's a 51-turn motor. It's pretty decent sized. I like that it's placed directly in the center, the transmission transfer case is. It looks like the bottom of this thing. Um, the parts are interchangeable just because they're all the same length. It appears that way. I'm not 100% sure, but it looks like just almost an identical mirrored image back and front. So that would probably make it really nice to buy parts and stuff. Um, yeah, overall, it's a, it's a nice truck. I don't want to do a full unboxing again. I do like the suspension on it. And one of the things that turned me off when I was looking at these, as far as buying one goes, when the body's sitting on it, let's take a look here. It took me a while to buy one just because when you're looking at it from the side, these look really thick. They don't look like there's much articulation. And honestly, there's not that much. The differentials are really low. You don't get a ton of ground clearance off of this wheel here. Um, so I just didn't think it would be that good of a crawler. And you'll see in the footage that I filmed earlier when I unboxed this thing that it is really quick. And I mentioned that a few times, how fast it is. But I'm also a dummy, and I forgot that there is a high, medium, and low setting for, <laughs> for crawling. So we're going to go get some more footage of this thing. I'm going to show the stuff I filmed earlier first, and then towards the end of the video is stuff that I'm filming right now after I've already tried to edit the video. Um, I just wanted to get some more footage for you guys and give it a second chance. It is a fun truck. I like it. I'm not saying I don't. I was a little underwhelmed with its crawl ability, but it's a great trail truck. It is really fast when you have it set to high, which is fun. And we're going to go see if we can crawl with it. Just give it a second chance. All right, before we head outside, we're going to take it on some of the inside stuff. So it doesn't want to slow crawl that, but I bet with some speed it'll be okay. Yeah. You can definitely power up there, but it doesn't want to do it slowly. Pretty heavy truck. All right, so just driving it out here, I noticed how quick it is. It's definitely got some speed, which is crazy. I don't know if this is meant for a trail truck and not a crawler, but I wanted to just send it outside. Yeah, it does great. Nice and quick. That might be the fastest crawler I own, actually. All right, so the course is still pretty pretty jacked up from when I redid it to make it a <laughs> rock crawling course, and I'm not sure this thing is suited for rock crawling. We can always try it, but I'm just gonna take it up these little steps first and see how it does. I apologize for the wind noise in advance. It is pretty windy out here. definitely needs taller tires. I mean, look at the front of this differential. That thing is chunky and it hangs low. But if you maneuver it right, you maneuver it right, not me. Holy cow, guys. Super windy. The idea is going to be crap. It's 
sorry about that. Let's see how it does on this, if at all. hard to finesse the controls with this thing. Let's see how it does with the rocks. <laughs> it's fun, I'll give it that, but this is not meant for crawling. go as slow as I can. Okay, let's rock bounce it. Oh, hey. <laughs> what it lacks in finite control, it makes, for, makes up for in uh, speed and power. figured out what this thing was always meant to be. A drifter. All right guys, we're back outside. It's still windy, but I got this thing in low gear now. We're gonna give it a fair shot at actually climbing. Again, I'm still pretty sure this isn't what it's meant to do, but I feel like it might be better than what I tried earlier. Having a little more control. Oof. Maybe not. Let's start up here and find out what happens. This is just my opinion, again, but I think it needs taller tires. Um, these tires are the exact same height as the SCX24 Deadbolt tires, um, or Jeep. They have the same tires on them. I thought that they might be bigger, but just because this truck's so big, it makes these tires look small. I held them up, they're the exact same size. Uh, the Katana tires, same thing. The, the Katana and the Patriot are the same scale as this. Tires are the same size, but this, you can definitely have bigger tires to this there's room for it and I would even sacrifice cutting this body just to fit something that's a little more capable only because of the ground clearance issue in the front the suspension's really good um, it flexes nicely for as much as it can flex it has good rebound it's nice and smooth All right, guys, well, that's the Panda Hobby Tetra uh, Jeep. I would definitely consider this more of a trail runner than a rock crawler, simply because of the ground clearance. I mean, you're just not gonna get much with the size tires that's on this. And it looks like there's so much more room for bigger tires. I gotta look in to see if I can find some of those. But overall, really happy with it. 
Um, it's a lot of fun to run with. It's definitely not a technical crawler, but if you want to just rock bounce or bash this thing, it seems pretty durable. It's pretty tough. It's really quick for its size. And I had a lot of fun with it. So now it'll go with the other trucks. <laughs> For scale, I wanted to pull out the uh, SCX24. I still need to wash this thing off. This is the SCX24 Jeep compared to the Tetra. And then you've got the Patriot, which is basically the um, Katana, I think, the knockoff Katana. Pretty much the same size. I believe these are 1 18th scale. And then you have the 1 16th scale WL Toys. Uh, or WPLC25 or whatever it is. So, a little bit smaller than that. I got the, the 124th, the 118th, and then the 116th, and then some bigger bigger stuff down there. I got too much, too much junk over here, guys. I gotta clean up, but that's gonna do it for this one. I'm happy to add it to the collection. We got a nice lineup of uh, pretty white vehicles that I'm gonna get dirty. So... We'll see you in tomorrow's episode, and I hope you guys enjoyed.